number of positive COVID-19 cases are skyrocketing in East Oakland, especially, and health officials there say large gatherings at Lake Merritt are a big factor. This evening, neighbors around the lake say city officials are not doing enough. KPIX 5's Dahl Lin is there with those complaints. Da? Yeah, Ken, it's like a festival behind me here on Lakeshore Avenue. And it's an example of why neighbors are so fed up. The city knows all of these vendors, they're violating the rules because they don't have a permit here. They're not supposed to be here, and they're attracting a lot of folks here, hundreds of people behind me right now. The local councilwoman saying, well, we need to educate these people and do more to get the message out there. Neighbors are saying the message is not working. It's time to enforce the rules. This is how some weekends look like at Lake Merritt. Neighbors say hundreds of people from as far away as Sacramento come and block off Lakeshore Avenue to throw block parties. No masks and no social distancing. Most neighbors like Gregory Anderson and Claudia Paredes can't even leave their homes. As a pregnant person, I do not feel comfortable coming out to the lake to even walk our dog during the weekends because it is so packed. Many say they feel trapped. It's COVID. Do you think you guys were a little freaked out and you get you get blasted? The Roots Community Health Center reports in July, 40% of the positive cases in Oakland were due to large gatherings and parties. These four zip codes represent East Oakland. These numbers per 100,000 residents are some of the highest in the region. I urge Oaklanders to continue to be vigilant. This afternoon, a couple of council members and health officials held another press conference to remind people to not party. They've done many of these messaging events in recent months, yet parties and COVID numbers keep going up. I asked them if the message is not working, what's the new approach? Need to be operated with the goals of equity and inclusion. I am trying to stay away from the, the conversation on enforcement because one of the most unsuccessful ways of getting someone to actually change their behaviors over the long term is by forcing them to do something. Their solution? More education. Your education message has not worked and why don't you educate people by enforcing the rules? Without that, it's kind of an empty measure when people know, okay, nothing's actually going to happen. I got sunglasses. Neighbors want a balance of education and enforcement to keep COVID cases down and bring their quality of life back. Public officials get out there and admonish and guide and say, please give the lake a break. It's too soft. It's not going to happen. Here's a live look of what the neighbors are talking about. You see these cars actually parking right in the middle of the street and no tickets right now. So neighbors say they feel like they're under siege. Now, a city administrator says uh, they're going to start to give out warnings to these vendors uh, in the coming days and maybe weekends, uh, but he does not know when they'll start doing the enforcement. He says maybe they will, but they just don't have a timeline at this point. And so that continues the frustration with the neighbors here. Live here in Oakland, I'm Dahlin, KPIX 5.